hey guys you're welcome to my kitchen so today i'm about to show you how i made my granite soup and as you can see i have some list of ingredients that i'm going to use for this the first thing here is this beautiful fresh vegetables and i'm using the main ingredient of today which is the granite i'm using some stock fish i'm using dry fish i'm using fresh pepper i'm using oziza leaves i'm using some chicken I'm using salt, a piece of ginger, and seasoning. I'm also using a little of palm oil. So let's do this together. So guys, the first thing I'm going to add is my chicken. And I'm going to add my onions. I'm going to throw in some fresh habanero pepper, three of it. I'm going to add seasoning. And I'm going to throw just a little piece of my ginger, which I will remove before I start my cooking, my soup. And lastly, I'm going to add just some salt and add water on top so I'm going to allow this to cook until my meat is tender so while my meat is cooking I'm going to throw in pour my granite in the blender and I'm going to blend this so I'm just shaking it out So that's done so what I'm going to do now is add some water to this and blend again and that's done also and here is how it looks like so I'm going to set this aside and add some hot water to my fish and stock fish and into this bowl I've added my fish stock fish and hot water so I'm just going to sprinkle in some salt and then allow this to sit while I'm still waiting for my chicken to cook so into this I already have my granite paste and palm oil and pepper so I'm just going to stir this together So it depends on your choice if you want it to be thick you can make it thick or I really don't want it to be too thick so this is just the best way I'm going to show you the consistency when I'm done so I'm just going to cover this right now and allow it to cook so guys it's time for us to check And as you can see it's boiling so what I'm going to add to this is my grinded crayfish I grinded it in a mortar because I don't want to over blend it so this is how it looks and into this this is the thickness I want I don't want it to be too runny into this i'm going to add this amazing scent called leaf i actually like the way it smells it gives me life this oziza leaves i'm just going to sprinkle that around and my vegetable leaf i'm going to sprinkle that also around just a sprinkle and i'm going to give this a stir for 
Wow. I can't wait to eat my semo or eba. I can't wait. I'm still going to add some more of the vegetables and some more of the Aziza leaves. I'm going to stir this and also give it a test. I like it to be a little bit thick. So I'm going to stir this like this, like so, and then give this a taste. Wow, this is nice. So if you don't like yours to be too thick, you can actually add water. But this granite soup is as good as done. So we're just going to cover this for five more minutes and that's it. So it's time to dish this goodness out. And if you notice while I was cooking, I did not add salt because this granite I used actually have salt. They fried it with salt. So you have to be careful while adding salt to this soup. So I only added salt when I was steaming my chicken. So that's the only time to add salt. But you just have to add salt to taste anyways. So guys, it's time to turn off the heat and dish this goodness out. Wow, this looks beautiful. I'm going to show you guys how it looks. This is how it looks. This is how it looks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Please click the subscribe button. Please show me some love by sharing. Thank you so much. Until I see you in my next video. Bye-bye.